Four justices of the Constitutional Court, Stephen Kavuma, Augustin Shimie, Faith Monda and Richard Butera, in their verdict ruled that the four expelled MPs from the ruling party should be barred from the precincts of parliament. This court does order that a mandatory injunction be and is hereby granted, directing the right honourable speaker of parliament through the first respondent to temporarily restrain the second, third, fourth and fifth respondents from entering the Augustine House of Parliament to deny them seats therein and participation in any parliamentary activities until the final judgment in the consolidated constitutional petitions is pronounced. This ruling comes on the heels of an injunction by Chibuku County MP Saleh Kamba, Maria Magasha and NRM to bar Theodore Sechikubo, Barnabas, Tinka Simir, Wilfred Niwagawa and Muhammad Nsereko from the August House until the Constitutional Court delivers a verdict on their appeal against expulsion. The justices also ruled that the Speaker of Parliament erred when she said that the MPs should not vacate Parliament pending the hearing of a petition in court. But one of their colleagues, Justice Remy Kasule, accused his colleagues of delivering a legally flawed verdict. With the greatest respect, I find the approach being adopted by most honorable brothers and sister justices of this court to be prejudicial, prejudgmental, and contrary to the duty imposed upon this court, not only to act, but also to appear to be acting impartially. At the time of the ruling, the four outspoken MPs who have often refused to tow the line of officialdom were not in court during the ruling. They said they would appeal the verdict in the highest appellant court. In law, the proceedings don't stop until the final judgment is made. Therefore, our application to stay execution of, 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 of these proceedings is still valid and will be argued on Monday, 9 30. The Supreme Court has already summoned us. What happens to the representation of those people who voted for them? Because these people are still members of parliament. Are they going to continue being paid for no work done? I think all those questions re re require a resolution by a superior court. We cannot give uh, opinionated view. The ruling is clear. The court has ordered the honorable members of parliament to step out of parliament until it gives its final decision. The judgment in the key petition is expected to be made on the 15th of October. Suhail Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.